Good morning, my friends. I'm Clover, and this is Genuinely Approachable Sudoku, and today we are solving I Won't Back Down by Philip Newman. This is an odd-even Sudoku. So we have standard Sudoku rules, replacing the digits 1 through 9, once each in each row, each column, and each outline 3x3 region. And on top of that, some of the cells in the grid are marked with gray circles, and some of the cells in the grid are marked with gray squares. And the gray circles will always have odd digits, and the gray squares will always have even digits. And that is it. So I'm going to start by filling in our columns in Philip's theme for this month, where he's been using this arrangement of givens. And then next, I'm going to do something that I really should have done when I initially tested this puzzle, which is color the odd cells a different color from the even cells, because this is going to help us enormously later in the solve. So I'm going to make all of my known odd cells orange. And I'm going to make all of my known even cells blue. And even if this takes a minute longer, it's going to save us quite a bit in potential confusion towards the middle part of the solve. Now you only have four even digits in Sudoku, so anytime you already see four blue digits in a row, column, or region, we can color everything else orange. And similarly here, we already have five odd digits in this row, so we can color the rest of it blue because we know the rest of it is going to be even. Here we already have five odd digits in the top row, so that's going to be even. Here we already have four even digits in the region, and same here. Here we've got four even digits in column four already. I missed this for a really long time when I did my first solve of this puzzle, so I'm going to make a point of it now. These are even, and I just forgot to color them. And now we have all of our odd digits in row 6, so the rest of row 6 is even. We now have all of our even digits in column 3, so the rest of column 3 is going to be odd. And where else can we go from here? We have all of our even digits in column 8, so that's going to be odd. That makes this even, which makes this odd. And that might be all we can do for now. There might be one or two more that we can get. Um, I'm not totally sure where, but let's go ahead and do a little bit of Sudoku work. So we have two sevens here. Seven can't go in an even cell, so our seven's going to have to go there. So we can color that odd as well, which will make this even and make this odd. And then that's going to be even. And now if we look at ones up in the top, one can't go in an even cell in this region, so it has to go right there. And we'll go back to sevens for a second. We have sevens there and there, and therefore seven in this region has to go there because it cannot go in an even cell. So that's kind of our start, and I was not able to color these until a bit later in the solve, so we're just going to leave those be for now. Okay, so now these are going to be a 3 and 5, which means that this odd digit is going to be a 9. These are going to be a 5 and a 9, so this odd digit has to be a 1 or a 3. And because we have a 9 in row 1, we know that that's a 5. Our last odd digit in row 1 is going to be a 3. That means we have a 5-7 pair here and here in region 1. So these guys are going to be from 1, 3, and 9, but this one already sees a 3 and a 9, so that's a 1. And that makes this a 3 and a 9, which resolves our 3 and our 5. And now we have all but one of our odd digits in row 8, that makes this a 1. Now this sees 1, 3, 5, and 7, so it becomes a 9. And we know that our last odd digit here is a 7. And this is going to be either a 1 or a 3. In row 7, our last odd digit is a 1, and that resolves this. And we need a 3 and a 5 here. There's a 3 already in column 4, so that's going to be a 5 with a 3 right there. Our last odd digits here are 7 and 9. Here we need either a 5 or a 7, and here we need a 5, a 7, or a 9. We need to place a 1 somewhere in region 5. It can only go there. And then this has to be either a 7 or a 9 for the region, but because it sees a 9 in its row, we're going to put a 7 right there, and we're going to use that to resolve these digits. 
Now that seven we just placed eliminates seven there, and we finally get to complete our coloring. And we know now that that's a three. And that these two digits are even. So now we have our odd digits finished, so let's focus on the even digits. So these have to be six and eight. We need to put a four somewhere in region six, and it can't go in those cells because of this four right here in row four, so that's going to be a four. These will become two and eight. These are two and eight also. This is either six or eight. These guys are two and four because there's a six in their region, so we know that's a six. And that six will resolve the pairs we just placed. So now these two have to be two and four. That also has to be either two or four. Ah, this six is going to turn that into an eight. These are going to be four and six in some unknown order, except that we still need a six in this row, so it has to go right there. And that will allow us to kind of bounce around the grid, filling in some of the pairs that we've established. And I believe we can just finish off with classic Sudoku. There you go. And that is how you solve Philip Newman's I Won't Back Down. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Um, if you want to solve it yourself, the link is in the description of this video. And I will see you again in a few days.